I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and I'm here today with uh, Minister Pierre Arcan from Quebec, who is the uh, Minister of International Trade and also uh, Minister for Francophonie. Welcome, uh, Mr. Minister. A pleasure to be here today. This is an exciting time for U.S.-Canadian relations with the Olympics. Absolutely, absolutely. And we, as we speak, we may wind up with a series Canada-United States on, in hockey. So it's going to be interesting to see. We'll, uh, we'll talk later about that. <laughs> um, meanwhile, people from all over the world are coming to Canada. Yes. And I noticed that um, the president of Bavaria yes. stopped in Montreal before going on to Vancouver. Yeah. Quebec and Bavaria have had a long relationship. Could you um, tell us the foundation of that relationship and where it stands today? Well, I think it started in 1989. Um, I think at the time, um, Quebec was trying to define uh, its position in Europe in particular. And of course, Quebec had maintained for numerous years a uh, relationship for obvious reasons with France. Uh, we had an office in uh, London as well. And uh, G uh, I would say that Germany was emerging and it was just uh, at the moment where uh, you had uh, what happened in 1990, the, the fall of the Berlin Wall and everything that happened after. And uh, we started in the field of aeronautics because Montreal in particular was beginning to be very strong. Uh, Bombardier was starting as, uh, as, a, as a true competitor in the, uh, in the field of aeronautics. And of course, we saw some synergies uh, with Bavaria as well. Uh, Bombardier pl have plants as well in Germany in general. We started to have some uh, relationship uh, and uh, we established uh, finally an office in Munich uh, in Bavaria. And since then, in the field of life sciences, aeronautics, there's a lot of, uh, I would say, great connection between Bavaria and Quebec. And ever since, I would say now that for many years, uh, Great Britain used to be the number one European partner for Quebec. And now I would say that Germany uh, and UK are very close one another. So, and eventually, I think that Germany may, might surpass UK as the number one European trade partner for Quebec. Of course, uh, the state of Georgia here in the United States and Quebec have very close uh, trading relations as well. That's right. And um, we were wondering whether the Bavarian model applies to the relations uh, with Quebec for the state of Georgia? Uh, the same thing. I would say that, uh, you know, the, the biggest airport in the world is in Atlanta. Uh, of course, main uh, companies like Bombardier are involved here in uh, Georgia as well, uh, in the field of life sciences. Uh, and we are even looking at possibilities of improving uh, the relationship between universities here. So there's a lot of things going on between Georgia and Quebec. Uh, and we are also members of what they call the uh, uh, partner regions or regions uh, partner. Uh, we, uh, between the province of Shandong in China, uh, Bavaria, Georgia, uh, South Africa, certain regions of South Africa. And so we are uh, trying to find the best cooperation possible between those regions. And so far it's been quite successful. There's going to be a meeting in the fall in Cape Town. And uh, I think some of the issues are going to be discussed. And uh, we try to adapt uh, the best strategies possible in the key sectors where our economy is strong. How much of your time is spent? in developing those relationships um, with that regional partnership? I would say that, uh, you know, uh, I, would, I would say that generally speaking as Minister of International uh, Relations, I, I, uh, I spend probably 75% uh, of my time uh, to develop those kinds of relationship, to do economic missions in key areas around the world where we can uh, develop uh, the future growth of Quebec. 
Uh, we live in a world that is extremely competitive. We live in a world that is even more competitive than it ever was. We need to be very focused and we need to uh, react quickly to whatever is happening. So this is part of my duty to, to, to really try to create wealth for the province mm -hmm. and uh, it, is, uh, it is a job that I do most of the time. We have seen uh, warm relations develop between your Premier Charest and our Governor, yes. Sonny Perdue. Right. Uh, the Premier's uh, been in Georgia. Um, he attended one of the sessions of the Canada um, Southeast U.S. Compact that um, they really spearheaded, I think, those two individuals. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that relationship between the Canadian provinces and the southeastern states of the U.S.? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a great relationship in the sense that uh, uh, we, for years, we focused on the northeastern states of the United States for obvious reasons, proximity. But we realized that uh, the growth, first of all, is uh, now uh, very important in the south. Uh, Georgia is, uh, is a very important state. Uh, Florida is an important state. Texas. Uh, and uh, we see, generally speaking, that um, the South is, uh, is really the place where uh, many companies want to be now. Uh, and uh, so we, we felt that we, we were not well known in the South really over the years, uh, and not only Quebec, Ontario as well, and other provinces in Canada. So we decided to really participate uh, uh, to those discussions because even in Congress in Washington or in the Senate, many of the policies, uh, the South is having more and more influence on the policies of the United States. And we felt that it was important for us to be closer, to understand the realities that is being faced here in Georgia and in, in other sort of southern states. And uh, so far, I think that uh, it's been very successful. I think uh, relationship has improved. And uh, southern companies are uh, coming to Canada. Canadian companies are coming here. There's a, there's a lot of exchange. And uh, I think it's for the good of the two countries.